Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am down in a place that me and the Perduncan dubbed Bigfoot Cam Bigfoot Canyon because of uh, right here in this spot last year, and you can see the video I have it posted on there. We ran into something that we didn't know hanging right out here. We I had seen it hop the stream right here and stop right over here and we had a long we had a 15 minute staring contest it would move some i pulled my gun on it and it moved and turned its head i had several photos showing it uh but i had several people who did not believe me called me a fraud said it was a stump and all kinds of stuff well this is one year to the date later so this is exactly the foliage would be at about the same exact height the water level about the same water level and I'll, and I'll even show you like you pan down here this is the Conneaut Creek here it is deep okay as deep okay and this is the this is the area I mean there is a big hill and try though I might there is no pathway over here on the other side in uh, late September last year when the water level got really low we had like no rain for a while me and Perduncan were able to put on uh, the waders and we were able to wade across and then climb up there which wasn't easy and that on the other side there you can see there's some ferns but all of that is thorns we had to climb through these thorns literally like ripping our clothes to get over there and found the ground all tamped down okay and I was able to go to that stream. I'm six foot one, okay, not a small guy. It took me three steps to get across that stream. Just to put it in a size perspective of when I seen that clear in one step, because it came out from right over here at this tree, it came running real quick. I caught it out of the corner of my eye and it hurtled this in one step on my turn. It, it dove down and it was peeking up above above the the these this foliage in that spot and i got the can i got the phone out because i was not down here to video for me we were down here to video for perduncan comrades of Kanya. you can check it out see that's a real youtube channel and i was down here for him and he had his head down he seen me pull the gun he had a longer video of this too of what it was but what I wanted to tell you is bring this over here and show you it's not there okay people said when I came back in August yeah but the foliage foliage grew up when I went over there and showed in September and said there's no stump there they I didn't video my path to get there and people said oh you could have been anywhere that doesn't mean you were in this spot so they said hey, all kinds of these different excuses but I got to ask you here, and it's in my short feed. You can see it very clearly. It's only 21 seconds long. Look at it. It's called un Unknown Sighting. Okay. It was right here. And it was March 12th. Or sorry, May 12th. Okay. I'm here. May 12th. We got nothing. Okay. We got absolutely nothing. So, if that was a stump then please, people, explain to me where the stump ran off to, okay? Uh, and if you still want to believe me, say I made it up, okay, whatever, tell me how I did. There's no pathway back here. It was very difficult when the water was low. On the side is this big, giant, 100-foot cliff that runs along here, okay? And there's, it's wooded, it's a wooded area. There aren't, there's not a house for two miles from this location, because some other people have said, guy in a ghillie suit. Okay. First of all, it was 11 o'clock uh, in the day when we were down here. And it really wasn't, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, I'd have to kind of question that if guy in a ghillie suit, boy, you had a, and uh, first of all, how the heck did you manage to get your way over there? Because uh, that would not be easy. How would you be big enough to hurdle that uh, stream in one step? Because let me tell you, that's got to be a trick. 
Uh, and then uh, if it was a guy in a ghillie suit, you'd have to have balls of steel, somebody pointing a gun at you, telling you, telling you, you better move or I'm going to shoot. 15 minutes had a gun pointed at them. They move their head side to side to side, and you can see that in some of my pictures on my community section. You can see some of the pictures. Where is it? Please tell me where is, where is it at? And uh, again, there's been no sightings of guys in ghillie suits down here since. It's not any kind of hunting season for anything. Okay, and this land across here that I'm looking at is owned by the Cleveland Natural History Museum, which has no hunting allowed on it at all. Okay, okay, and the side that I'm standing on is private property, no hunting. Okay, this is a no hunting area. Okay, and I am in Monroe Township. But I wanted to show you that um, it's not there, there is no stump. Um, I'm standing in the exact spot and I'll show you because this is what we were doing. Let me zoom this out a little, a little bit on this side. The pathway is actually up there. Okay. And I'm going to show you, we had come down over here. We were looking along the riverbed to see if we could find arrowheads. And Perduncan had his head down over that way. Um, and he was rifling through some of the stones and he had some waders on and he was actually wading into the water a little bit trying to look for for uh arrowheads that's the reason we were down here and that's when i seen it okay and i was in standing in this exact spot and i came over here because that that too i was kind of i was trying to look for arrowheads and we walked over here i mean and i was looking around on the other side it wasn't there until I caught it out of the corner of my eye because I was standing over here. Perduncan was over here and I was standing here kind of looking at him and caught from the corner of my eye from that tree, it move and run across. And right there, then it changed the whole day. It changed pretty much, uh, pretty much the course of everything that I was going to do that day. Uh, yeah, and that's kind of why I have the channel that I do in exploring and investigating things. So, um, and there were several haters on here telling me I'm mistaken. And I just got to tell you, I'm mistaken. Let me see if I, okay, this doesn't want to zoom in here. There we go. If I'm mistaken. Zoomed in to its max. Please explain to me where it is. Okay. There's nothing over there. Okay. And uh, I can look through there and I can see there. there's nothing. It's just not there. And uh, so I wanted to show you guys that and uh, just kind of give you just a little overview. I hear the crows are out. It's a beautiful day. It's Mother's Day. Everybody that is a mother that's on this channel, happy Mother's Day to my own mother and mother-in-law. Happy Mother's Day to my wife. Happy Mother's Day. Okay, and uh, I just left the house of the festivities. Sometimes the best thing I can do for my wife, for her to have a good day, is go take a hike in the woods, which sometimes that's the best thing I need for me, is to go take a hike in the woods. So I wanted to show you guys that a little bit because of these high walls. And there's a forest on this side and then some very high cliff walls. So me and Perduncan um, dubbed this place Bigfoot Canyon uh, after that sighting. And uh, it's not there now. And again, it's just not there. Okay. You can see it's not there. Uh, I'm not making it up. Um, there was no stump, okay? There was uh, nothing else there. It just wasn't there. 
and I wanted to show you guys that just this is a place I've taken several videos on and I've come back in, in several different seasons and shown you that spot uh, I've shown that spot in the hikes and, and there was nothing there including the dead of winter when everything was knocked down and you can see I'm off the off the roadway quite a bit okay and uh I mean, you can see nothing there, okay? And uh, if there was something there, I'd be seeing it, okay? So I just wanted to bring that to you, show you that. Um, again, that's been one of the big things that, uh, you know, kind of changed <laughs> with what I was doing. Um, and... Uh, I wanted to show you guys that one year later, okay, which has been kind of, that was kind of the start of me doing my own channel, because at the time I really wasn't, wasn't going to do my own channel, and you can see just how beautiful this place is, uh, but uh, I encourage you to go into to the short section on my page scroll down there I may even repost it for a one year uh, one year later anniversary and I invite every anyone to come up with a better explanation okay because you're talking about uh, a half mile hike through thorns crossing wide streams I don't know if you can see that right over there there's a very wide stream over there and the water level was up because it's May okay this is I'm gonna try to get over here and zoom in there's another stream so they would have had to have somehow with no path through lots of thorns okay through lots of thorns thickets deep streams mud okay ticks and everything else you're saying they managed to scurry through all that wearing a ghillie suit and I don't know if you know anything about wearing a ghillie suit it's not conducive to movement okay I can say this as someone who's been in the military for 20 years and been in combat ghillie suits are not really the most uh, they're not the best to use if you have to go take a hike and go over rough terrain they're better for once you get into a, you know getting into a spot and stay there and then small movements from there and you see there's another stream straight across so that's three different stream openings that you got to try to cross um, over there trying to get over this place there is the covered bridge it is a beautiful place over here but you can see on the other side that's where the path ends it's the four-wheeler path and they always go into the water and so from that point on, right there, there is no way through. And that's why even the four-wheelers don't try to go over there, okay? They cross the stream because it's easier to go through that water than it is to try to get over into that spot, okay? That's, that's how difficult it is to get over into that spot. Uh, so... Again, I, I don't know what it is, which is why I titled it as Unknown Sighting. But if you're going to tell me it's a human, I'm going to disagree with you every time. Uh, if you're going to tell me it's a stump, well, then it must be a magical stump because it gets up and moves. Okay. And uh, I just wanted to see if, uh, show that one year later, uh, that sighting. And see this is another thing this is where the they will cross uh the four wheelers will cross and come up over here because it's too difficult to go on that side it's too difficult for four wheelers and they're off-road vehicles okay so that's going to show you something on that so not to mention that this if it was a guy in a ghillie suit he was running he was running seven foot plus okay so you're seven foot tall and you want to hike over there and wear a ghillie suit. Come on now, guys. 
it doesn't make any sense. And I wanted to show you, I mean, even getting back here, we got our issues because this is May. It was like this the last time we were here. It's an effort to try to not get muddy through here. And uh, that's the day that kind of changed everything for me. It was proof of things that had happened to me in my teen and early 20 years uh, of things that happened all along the Conneaut Creek. They weren't hallucinations, they were real. <laughs> and uh, that there's some something down here that we don't quite understand or know for sure what it is. And that's part of my mission and part of my channel that from now on, we're going to, I'm going to be exploring and I'm gonna be looking for these kind of things. And if you've seen the video, Terror in the Woods, with that scream, again, people give me uh, these uh, things as if they were there and they could say, oh, exactly what it was and what they would have done. Um, and first of all, when you're not there, it is a little different, but tell me what you would have done and reacted in that situation. I'm gonna call BS on. So from a very beautiful place along the Conneaut Creek, dubbed as Bigfoot Canyon, one year removed. This is Tech Sergeant Mackey saying, have a wonderful day. And if you haven't called your mothers yet, call your mothers. All right, God bless you.